we're talking about a very classic topic in meditation, and that is the idea of gratitude. This is something that comes up in so many different meditation practices and meditation traditions. And one of my personal favorite things is when we have a, a tradition that we have done for, you know, how many thousands of years, and then we come into the modern age and we get the ability to do research and to study the brain. And it gives us this new insight into why this is a practice that long before we really understood the processes going on in our brain, it was known to be helpful and important. And that is the practice of gratitude. It is one of the things that has quite a bit of research behind it in terms of how it helps us to actually shift our thinking patterns and change the way that our brain interacts with our day-to-day -day life. It is such a, a cornerstone piece of meditation, but also this process of taking our meditation skills off of our cushion and out into our day so that we can change our relationship with our day-to-day -day life. So let's work on our relationship to gratitude. We'll start to get comfortable, but not too comfortable. using a couple of breaths to make that transition into your meditation practice. It's where we turn our attention in and the mind becomes this tool where we start to scan. What is here? What is this unique moment like for me? We start to scan with an open awareness, giving equal attention to the things that we might label as good, and also noticing the things that we might tend to label as unpleasant or undesirable. We still notice that they're there if that is a part of our current experience. We start to steer our mind in the direction of the heart. We have this whole category of heart-based practices and gratitude is something that can really connect us to this area in an energetic sense. You can start to notice do I feel a connection to gratitude around my heart? Or perhaps you feel it somewhere else. We 
can bring the mind to an experience of gratitude. Perhaps there was an event or an experience that you had recently where you felt very grateful. And remembering what that felt like in your body. What kind of thought patterns or emotions came up with that experience of gratitude. That experience of gratitude can create a sense of connection. This connection with the things that are around us, a connection to the people that are around us. We started to talk about how sometimes our our human experience is this place where we we sort of shift into autopilot, right? Especially when we're doing things that are very habitual. We are driving to our normal places and doing our normal chores. Very easy for the mind to switch into autopilot. I think of it as like a, like a computer going into energy saving mode. <laughs> the brain does a similar thing. But when that happens, we miss the experience that is in front of us. So one of our ways that we can create a greater sense of connection is to Look at what's around us with fresh eyes, kind of pretending, if I was looking at this for the first time, how would I see it? What would I notice? So you create that connection and that awareness. And then the next step that you shift your brain into, the next little brain experiment is to say in this moment what can I be grateful for right here even if it's just washing the dishes for the seemingly thousandth time <laughs> One of the things that makes this experience of gratitude go really deep is when we look for the simplest things in our experience. Of course, we can be grateful to have a place to live and for the people around us. All of those are very worthy of our gratitude and very important to remind ourselves to be grateful for those. But in the simple day-to-day -day experiences like washing the dishes, connecting mindfully to the feeling of the warm water on your hands. The soap that you have to clean those things. And one of my favorite processes to go through that's really fun is to think this soap and this sponge, 
that you're using to wash the dishes, how many people contributed to those things being right in front of you in this moment? The people who worked in the manufacturing of them, the people who worked in the sales and the transportation of them, the person at the grocery store that scanned them and allowed you to purchase them. How many people's effort contributed to those simple things that are in front of you? We can pause and offer that experience of gratitude for all those other people's lives that are intertwined with yours in that really interesting way. From that very simple, small task, you could start to expand it out and look at all of the things around you. How many people's lives and how much effort from people that we've never even met went into creating and moving all of these things that we have in our life. Ending that feeling of gratitude toward them. As we start to draw toward the end of our practice, we can settle our mind on this kind of fun way of expanding our awareness and our connection to other people in the world. And giving yourself this challenge that when you feel yourself switch into that autopilot, kind of glazed over, a little bit detached from what you're doing. As soon as you notice, oh, I went into autopilot. How can I help myself to connect to what I'm doing right now? Gratitude can be a very fun way to do that. Thinking about all of those connections all of those things that came together for you to have the things that are in front of you right at that moment. Taking your last couple of breaths, maybe settling that awareness around the heart.
when you're ready, starting to open the eyes and take in that visual information. So now just looking around at the things that I have around me, my, my cup of coffee, my notebook sitting on the floor, it becomes this really fun kind of brain experiment of can I pause for just a moment and think how much effort and energy and how many people touched that object before it came into my life. And it can really start to become a, like a mind-boggling process. The, the idea of this I actually got from my husband was watching a, a video of, um, I believe he was like an economist. He was talking about manufacturing and all the different pieces that come together to create a pen. He was just holding a normal pen, talking about how each different component came from literally different parts of the world that had to be brought together and then put together and then packaged, shipped, purchased. And then it's just a simple pen sitting on your desk. But when you take a step back and kind of remind yourself that all of this amazing complexity went into that basic object that we pick up how many times a day and, and kind of not even realize, it becomes this very helpful way to switch us out of autopilot and really connect to that sense of, kind of wonder it's one of the other things that we like in meditation, that experience of wonder is a direct opposite of being in autopilot and also gratitude for all of that effort and work and people's lives that touched that thing. So it's one of our fun little brain experiments that we can do with these attitudes of mindfulness. Right. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Hi there, I'm Laura. Thanks for being here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you are subscribed. You can also head over to lauragyoga.com to get into our virtual yoga studio. That is our community for healing and self-development through the techniques of yoga therapy. You can join us for meditation sessions, therapeutic workshops, live yoga classes. You can check out the on-demand yoga therapy library with over 400 videos and growing every day. And you can also book a private session to work with me as a yoga therapist. You might wanna check out one of these videos picked out especially for you, and I will see you in the next one.